Hello guys, you welcome to our week nine analysis. This is Trader Sidban here. This is week nine. We're going to be looking at the chart and the trades that we're going to be taking for this week. Last week, we had a very interesting week, profitable week, based on our previous analysis that we did in week nine, week eight. We were able to get profitable week results, two trades, give us beautiful beautiful profit uh at the end of the week where they were mostly like a string trade but we entered on monday we closed the trade on friday and they were all in profit you can watch my uh my uh week uh, trade updates that i did uh on friday uh which of week eight trade uh updates that was sent into the into the into the into the group so we have different trades that we took last week so today i want to focus on certain area of of pairs i'm going to be looking at gdp usd oil uh, euro usd gold uh usd chef uh gdp chef which we traded last week as well then nasdaq and we'll be looking at nasdaq 100 we'll be looking at also us 30. so these are the different pairs that a lot of people trade and i want to be able to look at my uh my view i want you to see my view on these pairs this week nine so let's get right into it let's go to the chart now this is uh first i will start with gu this is gdp usd as you can see and um, we are obviously looking at the four hour time frame. And um, if you go to the daily or even the weekly, you can see that the weekly candle began to smash, created bullish. So the previous week is bullish. And as we can see that, so that week ended bullish. And if you check the previous days, we have multiple bullish candle uh into the previous days but again the market is still very much in consolidation we have a breakout a little and then price begin to consolidate again so this zone on gu is a very interesting zone consolidation so the market is still going up and down but can we take advantage of this can we trade it that's what i want to look at in the four hour that's why i'm using the four hour to look at the move today otherwise um on gu to look at the move otherwise they should not be trading at the moment on gu but let's see what we have firstly we can see that the market is giving us uh swing high swing lows as you can see it's giving us swing high swing lows um that means um higher high higher lows as the other flow shows so we can see that giving us higher highs higher lows to the upside on the four hour so the first higher high is this one so we can see that we began to go bullish so that's why last week ended bullish as you can see we see that after this break of high which is the first higher high the second higher high so price began to rally up and we go go bullish so we could say that gu is bullish we are still going to be bullish if you put your trend line here you can see that as well on the four hour we are still looking very much bullish and we expect price uh to do more uh to the upside so let me just quickly give you uh we have a swing high again another swing high that took out the high now i want to stretch this out so you see exactly what we're looking at let me take that trend line off now <clears throat> This is the previous range. This is the range that we're looking at a four hour right now. And we see that this was the previous high and this was a fracture that broke that took out the high and then we have the low. So when this high was printed, we have a new fracture low. So this is what we're looking at. This is now the obvious range that we're looking at on GU. Now, what led to this push up that took out the high? So we can see that this was a fracture that was broken so we can say at this level right here we have a change of plan that price created 
a break above and then close again. Now, this is four hour candle, close again to give us no follow through, which shows that there was a reversal to the downside at that moment. But still, these candles were busily manip were easily manipulated throughout last week. So we see that price came back down and failed to break the slow, created a new low and go back up. So what are we expecting at this moment? Well, this is the range at which you have to pay attention to the price action. And it is obviously bearish at the moment. So we're looking at a sell to the downside. So remember, it's a non follow through and the momentum is bullish and it's showing a sell. So what we need to wait for, this is two things here. You can either sell, all right, to buy, or you wait for price to come to the premium zone and look for a buy. So what am I going to be looking for? I, I can look for an order that I can use like this order block here. I can use this order block as my zone for possible buy, uh, buy opportunity. So this become my setup because at the moment it's telling me that the market is retracing down using the NFT, telling me the market is going to retrace down. So it's a sell from there. It's going to drop all the way down to this level. If it doesn't drop, it could, it should drop because of the liquidity that you can see on the one hour here. You see the liquidity down here. So there's a lot of liquidity down here. So price could drop all the way down and rally up as well. So what I'm waiting for on GU is that price will drop and tap into this order block, which is very nice. Or you can go to the 15 minutes and, and stream it down on the 15 minutes, as you can see, just to have a clear a clear view on it so that that will be my opportunity to buy now if you want to sell this market you just need to wait for price action um when the market open to break a previous high give you a structure and then alternatively you might want to target this other block here all right and then wait for price um to get up there you want to wait for price to tap into that block and then sell, which is great. You can do that. Or you wait for price to tap into this odd block uh, right here, which is supply zone here. And then you want the price to come up there and give you opportunity. And then if you see it, then you sell. Now, price would definitely come down here. So the first opportunity to sell on GU is what I said. Now, remember, it's counter trend. I mean, counter trading. You're countering the overall momentum. The overall momentum is bullish, but the price is telling you that uh, the direction is telling us that it's going to go down and sell a little bit before it buys. So if you want to counter sell this market, you can. That's what I'm saying. So watch out for these other blocks and you know how you enter, how your strategy is. But if you're going to short, look out for the opportunity to short from here and wait for that price action and target this low all right that's the first opportunity and that will give you one to three beautiful trades but if you go with the next entry which is this one and then you're gonna just put your stop loss right at the other block top of the other block there and you'll have more more opportunity to sell that so this is what i'm looking at on GU to say that and to buy. So I will, I will look for this opportunity and then wait for price to come all the way down and I'll look for opportunity to buy. This will be my trade overall that I'm looking for this week on GU overall. So I'm looking for price to come up there. Now, I have to be very careful what price did here. So he might a little bit tap into that low. So, so I'll put my stop loss right a little bit that low right there not to be that ready then i always expect price to tap into that other block give me this range of price but i'm not sure it's gonna get all the way higher but uh, i expect price to do this so this is gu analysis i hope that's clear let's move to oil go back to four hour
uh, maybe we should just do euro us let's do oil first let's do oil for those of you that trade oil let's look at what oil is saying at the moment if you go to the daily the oil is actually consolidating we can see oil is consolidating on the daily which is okay and also we can see that on the weekly the market closed bearish so when the market closed bearish on the weekly it shows us that the market will want to start going down still because we can see is a strong bearish market uh that happened before now let's look at the four hour time frame to see uh why the market is dropping um what we should do now as you can see this all right based on structure and based on behavior you can see that the market obviously had a push to the upside here and what happened i just want to create another flow a push to the upside and then we had another break to the upside giving us a higher high and then what happened price failed and then failed to break that high so for overall if you were to stretch this whole thing out then you would discover that price broke the slow so here we have price shifted to the low and broke the slow okay and then what happened price push up again to break the high so that's what i said that on the daily is consolidating you can see that price broke the high by pushing up from here to here there was a break and if you stretch it out you see this is what we have as a range so the current range now is where we are so let's see why the price is dropping and what next so the first thing is we can see that this push to the upside took out this high and we have a strong high there so this was a previous high that led to this low so automatically we can see that we have a reversal here which is called no follow through so when that happened if you were to be here on oil you'll be selling you'll be looking for opportunity to sell on oil but already we can see that it sold okay and it rejected tap into the equal lows and it rejected and what happened price pulled back in now at the moment we can't um we cannot predict until this low is taken out we cannot predict where the market is going to go so we should be expecting a pullback but there must be a sign if it is a pullback then we have to look at this entire range and expect price to pull back into our premium so that we can sell but at the moment price is still within the discount zone which is a buy zone we are not buying uh we should be looking for sell because the overall momentum on 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 um on the day on the what do you call it on the four hour is shifting bearish and bullish so there's no more it, it's still bullish though even though we have a new lower low this is a lower low lower low from this structure but the market is still looking very interestingly uh bullish but we have to be very careful because it's shifting from bullish to bearish and that's what we're seeing on this trade so um on 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 all year at the moment we need to wait for a price to pull back if it doesn't pull back we're not getting in and if it's going to pull back then we're going to look at price pulling back into that zone for us to buy for us to sell again maybe pull back into that zone and we'll look for more sell to the downside so oil is going to be an update so you wait for it if you are not in a trading lab ensure you join the trading lab so you can get this update coming in this week all right let's go to euro usd now on the euro usd platform uh, uh, pair if you check on the weekly we see that the weekly candle closed bullish but it was a strong bearish before that and then you can see that on the daily we can see that there was a lot of week a lot of days in the week that had monday from monday which was bullish 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 until it closed on friday bearish well obviously we can see the pressure there that the bearish market started coming in strongly at that level so let's look at what um, the behavior the part the change the direction will be for uh for the four hour time frame now on the four hour time frame you can see that the market looks like a bullish strain to the upside which is obviously like you have this push up the market is going up and it's looking bullish all right so that's the way you want to see it at the at the moment 
so it's looking bullish on the four hour just like gu is looking bullish as well so but let's see what the market did and while we're looking at that we want to look at uh the range that the market created the other flow that the market actually did create we see that order flow and then we see this price pushed up and then eventually took out a high so um sorry about that we have price to cough that eye right there and then with that push to the upside we see that a previous high was broken so i'm going to look into that so we see a range here that price took out this high bullish and what happened and the next candle drop crazily and it, it closed body above it above this high and then the next candle closed bearish so that gives us a reversal not follow through so what that mean that price is reversing to the downside at the moment still but we have the previous low because this low has not been taken out but when this high was created we have a new low that was given us by fractal so even though we're looking at the range still this low is the internal fractal range internal range so so we can still take this as a range but this is internal range as well so let's look at that let's take that as just our major range and then we'll look at this push up um on our auto flow and then we're looking at probably where we should be looking at opportunity to trade now price is in this zone the market is bullish and price is trading around the equilibrium now if we were to use this low as our area of interest it is still it will not work so this is better placed now you can see this the swing high there swing if you turn on the line chart you see that swing so that's the range so now looking at this what do you expect you expect price to give us opportunity to sell because it's looking at um well it's it's not follow through sell market but if price will come down take this low still let's say price come down and take out this low and then we should be expecting a change of directional bias which would not be bearish and then we'll look for more sales but at the moment the market is still very uh on directional on on euro usd so we need to watch and see if this trend line breaks and then it, it tally back and then reject here then we could look for more opportunity to sell but we will be selling when price come over here so that's what we should be doing if price push up if price push up you see that happen so look for sale around this level at the moment so on euro usd wash up for all dates at the moment there's no decision to be made gold let's look at gold quickly now on gold um we'll take after gold we will take nasdaq nasdaq 100 or us 30 then we'll, we'll end this uh this analysis for today for the week so first we see gold gold is extremely beautiful as you can see it's bullish overall if you check last week it closed bullish and then the daily it closed multiple times in bullish so gold looks bullish to us at the moment so what we need to do is to find out our direction of bias as you can see that was a previous high that the market broke and it closed well above it so both candles closed above it so we can still see follow through to the upside so this market is follow through that means it's going to be up going so what we need to do is to get our range now this is our new range on gold so we're looking for price to come this low so what that means is that um, if price is going to buy continue buying going up we'll look for this place to buy so where is the place you can see the other block right there you can see the other block so we're looking for price to come all the way down and then we'll look for opportunity to buy so on gold we have a lot of room for price to come down maybe about eight hours time and then price come over at this level where market open and then it's going to rally up so more buys expected on gold so if you show if you're long in this pair you want to wait for price to come over there and then you take one to two one to two depending on your entry criteria 
I would suggest you look for a beautiful uh, uh, entry at the 15 minutes or one hour time frame to get your entry on gold. So the next one I'm going to talk about is you were a NASDAQ, NAS, NAS 100. Now let's look at NAS 100, NASDAQ. So we have the weekly close bullish, which is great. And then the daily, we can have multiple days into that was bullish and on Friday close bearish. Why is that a reaction? So let's see what that is on the four hour. Why did the market do that? First of all, we can see that the market has been giving a range and drop, a push back, a drop, massive drop, and then a push. So this high has been broken and this high has been tapping into based on liquidity. So haven't seen that. Uh, sorry. Haven't seen that. The next thing we want to think about is where is the directional bias? So as you can see, that price took lows out. This previous low was tapped into and then smashed all the way up to take out this high. So this was internal range. Of course, when this low was taken, this became the new high. So we're bullish at the moment. So we see that price take out the high and we had followed through to the upside. So when that price did, that price kept pushing up and kept pushing up and then break that high and created a new high here and then came back down a little bit and then took out a high so at the moment we have a shift of direction which is now here so what we have is from here if you can check the high there let me show you good beautiful so what we have is a reversal right there. So it's no more follow through right here. We have not followed through. The market has shifted. What is that? It's a pullback. But the overall momentum looks bear bullish, a little bit bearish, but it's not straight. It's like a neutral movement. But we know that the weekly close bear bullish. So we're going to be a pullback, which will lead to consolidation. So here is our range right here. So what does that mean? If we find opportunity to sell in the 15 minutes market open, we're able to look for sell. We could sell it. We can sell the retracement. This is what say saying, look for sell. This is a sell zone. Price may push up a little bit and then sell. So look for a sell zone and target this order block. This, all this imbalance must be filled. So there's a lot of opportunity to sell um, on NASDAQ. So NASDAQ looks sellable. And you have few sales straight to be until price come to the premium. I mean, to the discount level, you should not be looking for any buys. Price is going to drop to this discount level where you have this beautiful auto block. And when that happens, you want to be able to look for opportunity to buy from there. So your buy trade will continue from here. That's what you want to look for. So at the moment, price is going to drop down there. So lastly, we're going to take US 30. US 30 look the same thing as NAS 100. So let's just do that quickly. We can see the break of structure there. And the weekly is bullish, as you can see. And it's still bullish daily. And we see four hours. So what we're looking for, opportunity to buy. But still, the market is retracing. So you can trade the retracement. If you trade the retracement, that means you probably going to be having um, to target the other block or target the equilibrium at the range but this is the current range right now that we're in and it's looking opportunity to back to sell which is here we have a retracement uh, uh what do you call it a, re a reversal happening not follow through because of the previous candle that broke below it so it's going to sell a little bit so price will drop to this level and then you want to look for opportunity to buy. Just like the way, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the way uh, we just saw NAS 100. So you should be looking at that opportunity for more buys. So on NAS 100, um, we have uh, another block that we're targeting. And this one as well gave us a clear other block that you should target uh, for a more opportunity that price may drop to tap into that other block and then rally up. So... Uh, I think that's what you should look for. If you go to the one hour, you see that 
um, we have another order block here, multiple opportunities for price to return to the upside from the premium. So watch out for this from the discount zone, actually. Watch out for that opportunity. So that's what we're looking for on, on this space. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a long one, 25 minutes time, 25 minutes uh, we did this video. So I believe you enjoyed it. So if you are not in the in the um, in the trading lab, you got to join. It's called C uh, CB Trading Lab. You have uh, to, to get the link at the description where you will receive a lot. We have about 42 members at the moment where you receive a lot, a lot of daily analysis that we send in for your trade. And it is monthly subscription based. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I believe you enjoyed it. And our courses are going for 99. If you haven't joined the courses, take our courses and learn how to trade. The link is in the description below. All right. I'll see you in week 10. Until then, keep cashing the peeps, guys. Bye for now.